You know, every year, millions of people go out and enjoy the wilderness. Unfortunately, thousands of those people become lost and find themselves in a survival situation. Well, tonight, while I'm out here, I'm going to show you a simple trick to help you make it through the ordeal. Once you've actually determined that you are lost and you can't find your way back, you're going to go into kind of a panic mode, you know, your heart rate's going to go up, you're going to start breathing harder, you're going to start sweating. You're going to go into a kind of a tunnel vision, you know, thinking, oh, my car is just over the next hill or around the next corner. Well, actually, that's about the worst thing you can do is to be moving in that kind of mindset. You're going to, you know, get either farther away from your vehicle, get yourself deeper into the woods, and you also risk the chance of injury. You know, not paying attention to where you're going, trying to hurry. You might turn an ankle, you know, slip and, you know, fall down and injure yourself and make the situation actually worse. So once you have determined that you are lost, the first thing you want to do is sit down, relax, and collect your thoughts. Once you've collected your thoughts and you've accepted the fact that you are in a survival situation, you want to think about the word survival. Now, for years, there's been an acronym out for the word survival. Now, I didn't really like what the letter stood for, so I've revived it to my own liking and to suit my needs. And that's what I'm going to go over tonight, is the acronym SURVIVAL. So the first letter of survival being S, I've made it to be SEEK SHELTER. And the reason I've done that is because of the rules of the threes. You can survive three weeks without food survive three days without water, but you're only going to last three hours in extreme weather conditions. So that's the first thing I want to do is seek some shelter, whether it's man-made or from the natural environment. So let's get started and find some shelter. All right, I've been looking around for a bit. I haven't really found anything as far as natural made shelters. So I dug into my pack. I always carry a poncho with me with an emergency blanket in it. So we're just gonna go ahead and make a shelter. All right, the next letter in survival is U, and that stands for unpack and inventory. Okay, you wanna be able to see what's in your bag, see what you can use, see what you can utilize while you're in this survival situation. And I actually always start off with my body. Okay, obviously first thing I have is a hat. I've got some sunglasses, I've got my watch, my paracord bracelet, so if I need some more paracord, I can take that apart, use that. I've got my Gerber, and I've got my Jeep keys. Moving on to the pack, we've got a compass with a whistle, got a single LED little push button light, use that tonight, got a couple carabiners on the outside. Might use those to strengthen up my shelter. Got some gloves. Those will come in handy to keep me warm tonight. Got my Glock 22 with me. In case any little critters want to come into my shelter. Got some TP. That'll help start a fire maybe. Got my first aid kit. My bright orange bandana. Notepad. A uh, pill bottle with some band-aids and basic first aid items. Throw it on the ground. Uh, I've got my Inca pen, a couple pill containers uh, with aspirin and painkillers. I've got a aluminum cup with a spork. 
and some of my leftover MRE stuff from today. Powdered drink mix, sugar cookies, and dried fruit. So try to make that last as long as we can. I've got a waterproof dry sack that I keep all my contents of my backpack inside of. As you've seen, you, I like to uh, vent around water a lot. I've got a Gerber folding saw. That'll help with some firewood. Spare batteries for my lights and cameras. Ah, the small survival kit with fire making materials, another flashlight, lip balm, sunscreen, another waterproof poncho. Might use that as a blanket tonight. Ah, I got my SE4, what I consider to be my survival knife. I've added a knife sharpener and the SC arrowhead and some duct tape on there to uh, just make it a little more uh, versatile. And I've got a headlamp that'll make it nice tonight, free up my hands when I'm working on something. So I could uh, probably go collect up some water, you know, forage for some food, and I could even roll it up and use it as a pillow tonight to try to at least make my sleep a little more comfortable. Got my water bladder, uh, it's about half full, so I wanna make sure I kinda conserve on water. Um, you know, but I have been sweating uh, out here hiking, set up my shelter, so I wanna slow down a little bit. Uh, conserve energy and conserve my water but again that's the you in survival on pack and inventory okay so we've unpacked everything we see what we have and now uh, we can see how we can utilize these items uh, through this ordeal moving on to the R that's going to stand for repack and reorganize okay now that you've taken inventory of all the items in your pack going to reorganize it into items that you might need now or that you don't think you'll be using at all through this ordeal. So you're going to repack, putting the items that you don't think you're going to need on the bottom of your pack and things that you know you'll be using often or soon, you're going to go ahead and put those on top of the pack. Now items like my knife, I'm going to go ahead and repack that onto my belt because I know I'm going to be using that frequently, gathering firewood, you know, possibly skinning game if I catch anything while I'm out here. Uh, my knife is something I'm going to be using. Uh, the food that I had in my pack, I may go ahead and put that in my pockets. Uh, things like the saw, I know I'm going to be collecting firewood, so I'm going to leave that on top of my pack because I know I'm going to be using it. So the R stands for repack and reorganize. As I'm sitting here watching the sun go down, it makes me think of my next letter in survival, which is the first V. And that stands for visualize tomorrow. You're not gonna get out of this ordeal tonight. So you've gotta to visualize tomorrow. You've gotta think about making it through the night and see tomorrow so you can make a plan on how to get out of this ordeal. So you can go home and see your friends and family and all your loved ones. All right, now that you have your shelter set up, you've got your priorities straightened out, you want to move on to the next letter of survival, which is I. And I've made that stand for improve. Okay, you want to maybe uh, get some pine bows to put in your shelter, uh, flatten it out, move any rocks. Uh, maybe you want to put some sides on it, you know, if it's starting to get windy. Uh, maybe you want to improve your clothing, you know, if you've got a sweatshirt or, you know, a rain jacket or something. You just want to improve your situation the best that you can. So right now, I'm moving around trying to find some nice, fresh uh, pine bows to lay down in my shelter so I can at least sleep as comfortable as I can tonight. Next letter I want to go over with you guys is the second V of survival. And that's going to stand for value life. What I mean by that is you've got to value your own life. You've got to love life to 
make it through the night, make it through the entire situation to go home to your loved ones, your dog, your cat, whatever it may be. So one of the things I'm doing to motivate myself is I got into my wallet and I pulled out pictures of my kids just to sit back here by the fire and, uh, you know, think about the memories of the times we have during the summers and the times that we've had where we go out and have all kinds of adventures with each other. And that's going to help me motivate myself to get out of this situation. So remember, you guys, value life and live. Well, now that we made it through the night and it's the next morning, uh, you want to move on to your next letter, which is A, and that's going to stand for action. And by that, I mean you want to take action to help get yourself either rescued or get yourself out of here, back to your vehicle, back to the trailhead, whatever it may be. So if you uh, want to sit tight and try to get rescued, you know you might want to build up your fire bigger, uh, blow your whistle. Uh, you know, keep the orange bandana on. I moved out into this clearing last night. It obviously wasn't going to rain or thunderstorm. So I moved into the clearing, had my fire, and uh, wrapped up in my emergency blanket. And uh, it still got pretty cold. I kept stoking the fire all night. But my action today, I'm going to pack up and get myself back to my Jeep. Once you've put your plan into action, you want to stick to it. If you're going to stay there, keep a fire going, try to signal for help, wait to get rescued, so be it. Stay there until someone finds you. If you kind of know the area and you have a good general idea of where your vehicle is or where uh, you know the trailhead is, whatever, how to get back, then go ahead and start moving again. You know, uh, it's a new day. You've got all day. Find your way back, you know, make sure you're hydrated and you've got, you know, at least some food or something to keep your energy levels up. But uh, I want to go ahead and move into the last letter of survival, which is obviously L, and that's live. That's when you find your vehicle, that's when you get rescued, you're alive, you're going home to your families, your loved ones, and uh, you've made it through your ordeal. And uh, I've gotten back here, back to my Jeep, and uh, we're alive, we're going home. Thanks for watching.